Hi guys, I've been a little MIA, but today I'm going to show you a recipe that I haven't made in years, but this was something that my mom always made in the summer. We had a big vegetable garden and whenever we had zucchini, she would always make this pasta dish using the zucchini from the garden. Now, unfortunately I didn't get these from a garden, but um, I have to use them before they go bad. So I'm gonna see what I can do with them. Um, I don't remember exact amounts, so I'm gonna kind of go with this and try and remember because I haven't made this in years and my mom never had a written recipe. So you're gonna need zucchini. I'm using what I have here before it goes rotten. Um, they are pretty small and skinny. So that, I'm gonna use two onions. I'm going to use probably six cloves of garlic. And then I gotta grate this, but Parmesan cheese. Olive oil you're gonna need, and then salt. So my mom always used penne. As you know, if you go to the grocery stores, there's not much pasta left. So I grabbed whatever I could. I got the ziti, rigatti, but you can use whatever pasta you like. You don't have to use penne or ziti. You can use fettuccine if you want, whatever kind of pasta. All right. So wash the zucchini and then we're gonna slice it and then half it and mince your garlic, chop up your onion, and I'm gonna get going to prepping right now. As always, start boiling your water first. Um, they're washed. I cut off both ends and we're gonna have them so you can do down the middle, slice it in half, and then I would just cut it. Whatever works easiest for you. I'm not a chef, so I know there's tricks that I don't know, but <laughs> you don't want them too thin or too thick, but make sure they're all about the same size so they all cook. I'm going to make these long strips. So I have the onion halved and then I'm cutting it into these strips. And I'm going to cut it in half like that. Then do the garlic. So I said I was going to do six cloves of garlic. Okay. So I'm going to mince the garlic in my food processor. So to a saucepan, you're going to add olive oil. Heat the pan up and add olive oil. You can use extra virgin or just regular olive oil. This is a third cup, let's see. So I added a third cup of olive oil into the pan. I heated it up. I have some zucchini in there. Put your zucchini in. Give it a stir. I got my zucchini in and some onion. I'm gonna add the rest of the onion. Salt your water. Make sure you stir the zucchini a lot. You don't want it to burn or stick to the bottom of the pan. And you want to make sure it all cooks evenly. Changing color, it's getting softer. That's what you want to see is the zucchini gets soft. So be gentle when you're stirring it because some of them that were on the bottom cooked a little bit, so you don't want to make them into mush. Water's boiling. I'm gonna add my pasta. This pasta takes eight minutes to get al dente. Now, if I was doing rigatoni, you know, I would start a little sooner because that's like 15 minutes. This is eight minutes for al dente. This, the, the zucchini right now should take about, I'd say about 10 more minutes. So I'm gonna add my pasta now. and let that boil. Again, I set my timer because when I am doing these videos, I use track of time. So I'm doing eight minutes. If you like your pasta soft, then do 10 minutes, but eight minutes is al dente.
When the zucchini looks like it's getting pretty soft, now you're gonna add the garlic. The minced garlic you'll add to this. All right, so we're gonna add the minced garlic in. This was six or six cloves, I think. I'm gonna sprinkle some salt in. Stir and taste. If you're on a low salt diet, don't add the salt, but it does give it a little flavor. We're gonna add Parmesan also, so you don't have to go heavy on the salt. Or if you're not adding Parmesan cheese, then definitely put some salt in it. The pasta has about two more minutes. And this is about done. You can smell the garlic. Amazing. I just tasted it. it. Needs a little more salt. You can add fresh basil. My mom would do that sometimes. I don't need the basil in this, but if you want basil, you can. Some fresh. So I'm going to, because I have the strainer, I'm gonna let it strain. And I'm not gonna dump the water yet because I might need some to moisten up the pasta. So I took the zucchini off the heat because it was done and the pasta wasn't yet. You're going to add some of the pasta into the pot with zucchini. I do it in sections. Stir. Now this, taste it, add your salt. It needs some salt. And then you're gonna add Parmesan. I didn't get to grate any, so I'm gonna do it now. It's gonna take me a little while because I put it in, stir it up, put more in, stir it up. If I had it already grated, I would just dump it in there. <laughs> but again, you don't need to use Parmesan if you just want the olive oil and those flavors, but I like a little bit in there. Taste it. Take a piece of pasta, zucchini, onion. See what you need. Don't be afraid. <laughs>